Welcome back to Sri Lanka, the Crusader Kings 3 series here on the Lord Master Channel. I guess I got it all backwards, but nevertheless, this um, island nation playthrough continues. As, uh, as you can see, the current prominence here, as we're still on the uh, degeneration phase, which we're trying to go towards. Uh, I, mean, I mean, I'd like to for it to go to accumulation, but obviously. The early catalysts uh, say that it wants to go towards purification because of, you know, several factors. You contributed? Okay, I'll, I'll look you up in a moment. Anyone could buy a token of affection, big or small. If I want to impress uh, my essay Lilavati, I should send her something truly special. She's a fearless antagonist. So, um, I'll just say a seashell, a reminder of our first meeting way back when. Uh, thank you so much for the seashell you gave me. I could scarce remember the last time I received such a wonderful gift. Anything for you, little buddy? Well, no, anyways. What did you do that leads towards this? Align with the monastery, uh, that's just, you know, how it helps. Yeah, it's from over there. Way up there. We don't know. Maybe due to the fact that he aligned with the monastery, perhaps? That's part of what that was. But again, not an involved ruler. So that his relationship was exposed. I mean, I didn't do that. I mean, I knew their secret, but now they decide to reveal it themselves. And thus, um, they're fornicators, which is shunned in the Theravada faith. But as a Hindu, that's shunned over there too. Performance duties. Mm -hmm. A noble woman. My bodyguard. Really? That's useful to know. Um, there we go. Much better deal. Major Silk Road business deal. Now it's no longer 0 0.4 a month, it's 0 0.8 a month. Now, <laughs> uh, there the, uh, let me see, memories of this character. When did you two become rivals? It doesn't say. They've sworn to uh, become enemies during a royal visit. Oh, that was during the Grand Tour when we went over there. So they kind of dislike each other, and yet they're also lovers? What is going on with you two? Plus, you're one of my capable men, and you're my bodyguard, so you're secret to stay with me, don't worry. I know what I'm going to do next. Just need to raise a little bit of more funds for it. Because I'm going out of country. Oh, what's this? Tamil Vaishnavite peasants have moved from from Nad to uh, Vani. Hmm.
I'm sorry. I'm tired of being sickly for your older daughter. We're not quite sure about her yet. Although she might be the future heir, or, you know, until they have more children together. Few servants, nor the whites, take it to them all. Hmm. <laughs> it's a completely clear that you uh, Radi Sadakulava and the daughters employed spies at my court. I do not know what they're looking for, but as my servants and I have nothing to hide, I implore you make them stop. Uh, you're merely imagining things. You're just imagining things. You're a good man, but you're imagining things. You funded the construction of a small irrigation tank. Well done. Donated basic necessities to Nalanda. Oh, it gives you more diplomacy. That's what that does. And, uh, what did you do up there? Worship not the. Oh, they worship one of the Sri Lankan deities here. So he did that. That leads to more towards purification. We were doing so well. And you, what did you do? Irrigation tank. Glaze some marks from China. Yeah, it, it was irrigation tanks. Which, by the way, irrigation tanks. We can do that again in a few years. For future reference. Again, everything's going to get more expensive with the base cost when it's high medieval. And you know, at this point, why am I seducing her? If I want to have more children, i got to give me a second wife. But, However, secondary wives are, could be useful where I could switch primary if I want somebody who's more skilled at just about everything. Depends on needs, you know. Especially when someone is the... Spy master. I'm gonna go on a pilgrimage. A regular pilgrimage. Go to Bodh Gaya. Yes. This place here is a unique Buddhist holy site compared to all these other areas. Now there's some danger here. So I want you to get me some Silk Road merchants. This is all coastal sea from here. Let me see. Either this or this. Okay, this is more effective because this adds travel safety, additional travel safety, plus one diplomacy and stewardship for the Nakoda ship owners, which the Nakodas or, or Nadvitakas are a class of merchants of diverse cultural and religious origins prominent along the coast of India. Their connects will help any traveler who seeks to go far in a safe and timely manner. Just want this to be a safe pilgrimage. Although I may visit a few other places along the way, but... Plus I need a new caravan master, but unfortunately, there is nobody good at it. Sana Yodu. Every little bit helps. Even though that actually adds danger. Since we have you on board, so can't trust you with that. I would have been better off without a caravan master. 
So wood firing just costs you... Oh, a tiny bit of... Sorry for the misunderstanding. I think we feel safer without an unskilled caravan master. <laughs> okay. I gotta make this route different here. But first... Go for altruism. Even though I'm zealous, normally I would go for zealotry, but I'm not that, you know, zealot. I would go for zealotry if I was one, both zealot, and the other either vengeful or sadistic. That's since I've gone to a pilgrimage before, we can actually slow it down. The travel speed will be reduced by 50, and I will earn more piety upon completion. If the purpose of the pilgrimage is rumination, then what is the point of hurrying? The journey is half the the journey is half the point. No piety, no cost or reduced cost. Much more piety on completion. More piety on completion. Child will become more dangerous, though. Okay, just bring it appropriate. Because you see. If you do that, you're bringing your bodyguards. And with this, you're bringing all the others. Including my son and heir. Oh, no, no. Where is my son and heir? Let's look at all these potential guests. about to say Vikrama Bahu why are you not going to any pilgrimage because you should be with us if I had the chance let's just go with no cost get that off okay no cost then it costs by half Unless you want to risk uh, just going by yourself with just your only bodyguards to protect you, even though one of them's a bleeder, and you have a physician to treat you, which is said to be a wise man, who's said to be lazy, but he'll take his time. Okay, now customize the realm. It can go by C. We can make a quick stop at Patliputra at the Nalanda University. That helps the stewardship. Maximanavati, Subhapur. And then we'll turn around and, uh, and pay a little visit to Katak. And then once we're in this part of the Bay of Bengal, make a quick stop to um, Kanchipuram. In which, yes, we would also pay a little visit to um, the Chola lands before we return to here. So yeah, I'm adding a little bit of danger, but also slow to travel. I'm taking an awful risk here. This is going to be a long travel. But at least we'll be making a lot of fortune along the way. Plus, no caravan master. You know what? Disregard that. Go hire someone experienced. I will not go on a pilgrimage till we get a proper caravan master. Too risky. As per my request, my servant of a simple two options you can serve for the role of caravan master. Sinabahu is said to be the more experienced too. My 
already died. It's of course cheaper. Poor average. Well, average is better than poor. So, Sinabahu, you're with me. Okay, let's do this again. It'll be pious. Not into worldly. Yes. A little less danger, but there's a high chance of that, but not too many dangers. And the trial will be slow because I said so. So that will be applied. Mm. Oh, we're in much more piety. This is going to be a long pilgrimage to my first and only visit to Gaia. Where the place where the Buddha was enlightened. So, let's go and let's get it. My journey. Flagella, delicate, silk merchant of Bengali origin. But yet, her health is good. All while preparing for my journey. I've had this sense of serenity and knowing that everything will be alright. I'm pleased to embark on this pilgrimage to Gaia in order to get even closer to Siddhartha. Aye. And now more than ever I feel certain that he will watch over me on my travels. I can't wait. So I've added two potential pilgrims to come with me to Gaia. Doesn't say, but... They will be with me. Again, it was it's me, myself, my two bodyguards, the co physician, the caravan master. That was the initial five. And then here's two more that join. This one and uh this one here. Oi, what are you doing here? Oh, you're coming with us here, the other I said. No, you're not going to be the new cover master. And I'm still going to tag along with you anyway. Hmm. I've actually... I'm cogitating on this. Traversing the sea towards our decision, Inca, I am in constant awe of its vastness and wicked whims. Having just ridden out a storm the previous night, this morning we are greeted by a magnificent rainbow, stretching from horizon to horizon. Over here, some of the other pilgrims also contemplating the grandness of it, calling it a sight divine and the sign from Siddhartha. Yes! Feel the presence of Siddhartha. Surely something beautiful has to be divine. So this pilgrimage comes more pious. White squall turned to port. The coxswain's horrifying yell does not suit the calm weather. But my ears are filled with increasingly louder roar of the wind. In less than a heartbeat, the moist white mist that engulfs the whole ship louder than the wind. The main mast cracks and falls overboard. And as sad as it came, the squall moves on. Our boat lazily rocks the calm sea, dragging the torn sails of broken oars along. Fear not, we have more sails. Due to my entourage's maritime expertise, we were prepared for this. 
New rigging is swiftly erected in stored sails and wooded beams. Don't you know who we're riding with? Shit! Those are cursed children. Um, oh God and his compatriots, um, they're gonna bully. We're caught red-headed having snuck in the armory. Don't they know that weapons are dangerous? They're gonna bully. Uh, had hurt himself. Unfortunately, uh, Morgana ran outside and grabbed the nearest adult, admitting everything they'd done. He looks genuinely distraught, and I don't think he'll be dishonest ever again. Honesty is a virtue. Yes. It's good that you admitted what you did. That's why you didn't come with us. Made it to land. As we make our way through uh, Viraja, we are approached by Sehala Commander claiming to be the leader of the group of Varavada workers. Good Agarada. We've been on the road to Gaia for weeks, but the roads are too dangerous and we're short on provisions. We would be forever grateful for your support. I know that the travel isn't too safe, but the more the merrier. It's better to be safe than sorry. Reduces the chance of danger. Ah, oh, that's why he didn't come with us, because he's going he's a designated regent. I should have looked that up, but oh well. Perhaps one day when we go on a pilgrimage to uh Trigada, you shall. Build what castle for me? Anyways, as we ride by the great temple of, at Vihara of Kayaneshwari, Kayaneshwari, I ordered my procession to halt to admire this holy place in which the services and spiritual needs of so many here in the Isaya of Radha. The steps of the tower are practically littered with lowly, the lowly and destitute. Perhaps it's a great opportunity to show the people of Isaiah of Rada just how magnanimous and kind a liege could be. Arms for the poor! By traveling together with uh, Mahindrani and her merchant caravans, I've come across business opportunities that I would not have otherwise. While they're kind of strong, we're able to secure a favorable trade deal with the merchants from that there. I could accept that the order is, or risk it, and I got to get even more out of the other merchants. They might refuse, and the deal might fall through. I would have had a higher chance if my wife wasn't angry with me. So we should stick with the initial agreement. It isn't much, but I've been spending quite a bit, but at least we'll make some back. Our road takes us to the treacherous parts of it here. While I scan for Indians, a rustling bush grabs my attention. Could it be a wild animal? As I brace myself for impact, Cinnabahu jumps out of the bush instead of holding for them. You scared me, Cinnabahu. Let me, anyway, let me see what you have here. Some kind of fruit I can see. Yes, 
It looks and smells so delicious. What does it taste like? Maybe I'll just take a little bite, he says. Yeah, sure, I'll let you eat it. I'll just have a stomach ache. Almost there. Passing through the old Vihara of Rajagriha. I do want more money, so demand payment. Oh, we gotta get this. Vassal tax contribution will add up to the income. And that too. Every little bit helps. I was thinking about this, but I changed my mind. Alright. I have arrived in the holiest place in the world for Buddhists. Bodh Gaya is the place where Siddhartha himself attained enlightenment under the Bodhi tree. Since then, the elaborate Mahabodhi temple was constructed around the sacred tree, and pilgrims from all over the world flocked to here to learn more of the enlightened's story and celebrate his life. I have walked the holy path here. And Kasapas bonded to share this spiritual journey. There's only so much a man could pray about looking for other equally important ways to spend one's time. And Samantha, um, Neopendra um, Narayan, has a lovely residence that he so kindly allows me to visit. I hear some voices come from one of the rooms. Induin has achieved the greatest technique. I peek inside and see Devavati, Devavati explaining her craft to a group of interested courtiers who eagerly followed her teachings. Oh, she's a loony. Went. No need to pay, but because of my high diploma scar, I say such an expert feels wasted in a court like this, don't you think? She is joined. But don't overstay your welcome. Because, you know, lunatics, they can get a little, you know. How much does it cost just to tell her? Hey, get out of here, because as much as a high learning you have, but you're a different kind of Buddhist and. You're unwanted here. As much as nice you are. I mean, you're a nice person, but you're tab in insane. So there's no room for you here. And you wouldn't even be suited to be a spouse of one. So, scram. For the charity to the poor of Gaia. Organize the procession. As I enter the sacred grounds, I find um, Ramchata sitting at the altar with an absent expression. Ramchata, I call her. My lord, she says on face, I started to ask you, I hope you could forgive me. This place has moved my soul and agitated my spirit in a way I thought inconceivable. Siddhartha has spoken to me and his voice clear, severe, precise. Keeps going and going and going. The only sound I can hear now is the horde got quiet. If I if I could stay behind, I would like to devote my life to it. You you were one of those pilgrims that joined us as soon as we left. So I'll say, as a zealous person, delightful. I shall also make a donation. So, the local clergy will appreciate this gesture. We become more pious, further increases the trade experience of the pilgrim. Again, piety, along with that. 
piety is what we call it, but I remembered. It's also known as karma, not piety. That's how she becomes my friend. And so is the, <laughs> so is the body of Gaia here. And she'll be a nun, even though it says monk, but she'll be a nun. So therefore she will leave our entourage and will join the Samantha of Gaia. So I allow them to stay behind the holy site so we can keep in touch. So she's a bhikkhuni. That would be bhikshuni, which is none. And made a uh, do generous donation to its temples for that act. And cultures join the high medieval era. New innovations are available. Vikrama, my giant Radhapuda. Here's out over the sprawling holy site of Gaius and make our way to the crowd. Gaius truly a sight to behold, a place where cultures meet and faiths come together in worship. Are we not blessed to get to experience such familiarity and companionship? He looks me expectantly. The faith spirituality could achieve. We can't have this because we don't have the xenophilic option. So, decent. Pilgrimage. I haggled in the markets of Gaia and gained 40 and gained stewardship lifestyle experience. Excellent. As our time at the sacred site draws to an end, I feel reassured that I may not have been the most pious pilgrims out there. I proved my dedication to the enlightened in more ways than one. This being my first pilgrimage, and while no pilgrimage is exactly like, I feel confident I'm more familiar with what to expect from this type of spiritual journey in the future. Gaia, it's been an honor. So I'm a journey back home. Hmm. Now there are a few um, points of interest that we'll visit on our way back. So we have about 10 months left till we get home. Assuming we don't get any delays. Visited the Nalanda University near Patliputra. An opposing man stand is standing on a road ahead of us. I am Shiv Singh of Baha uh, Sharif. I invested dozens of men in combat, and honestly, all those fights were dull. So here I am on this road, looking for someone better than me. Someone I can learn from. If you can best me at combat, I will become valuable and loyal servant. And so on this day, I demand to meet one of you in a fair fight. You're not that even. You aren't even that good. Alright, big man. Vikram will show how it's done. 99% chance that he'll get beat and he'll join us. As he'll be a good commander to have. Can't deny that. <laughs> Welcome aboard. And sorry that we aggravated your wound. Hope you live. Four. Um, five. Okay. Come back. No more spying around. The soft rumor of the river been falling for a while has become strong enough. Some members of the entourage talk while making a short stop, get some fresh water, rest their feet. There's a stone bridge when the path turns. A couple of men rest with their backs against the parapet. One hits the other on the side and points their group. The third man comes ashore and another looks out of spinning in the river. You know, he says. This is actually a tow bridge. <laughs> Review to suggest that Vikrama show him. Now, normally, 
I would like to fight, but no, he'll beat the bandits. Come on, big man. That's why you're my bodyguard. Uh oh, that place is a war zone. Hope I don't get caught in that. It's in the middle of a siege. What's going on over in the Pala realm? War against the tyranny of. It seems that our caravans have become a little lost in these four nights. Senabar, who's been us around Grabpur Balia four hours. Though he has last swallowed his pride and asked for directions, he does not appear to be an expert uh, Magdi speaker. Let me try. Got lost for the next seven days. As we managed to do a dangerous path in Grabpur, uh, we decided to rest for the night. As I walk around the encampment, Suddenly, a strange feeling of someone missing bothers me. I asked around everyone to agree one, on one thing. They don't remember seeing Narendra Sinha all day. That's my bodyguard. He was keeping the rear guard as we entered the war-torn province. I suppose that wasn't the best idea knowing his bravado. He's probably already gunning for the front lines. Unless he's lost somewhere in the farmlands. This is a land here, it's part of Lakshmanavati. As I said, war zone. More delays. I'll find it myself. I don't want to spend money on this. We'll find them and brought the Ranger Sima back. You're supposed to serve as my bodyguard. Don't go running off like that. If you do that again, I will expose who your lover is. Except he doesn't know that. What I should have said was, you know. Come on. Visit the university. Oh, we're back here again. Get us out of here. A Bengali medic. We have heard that Pala is a land lousy with holy men traveling in impoverished conditions, living often on faith alone. One such medicant has approached our caravan to speak of his interpretation of Siddhartha's will and how to lead a pious existence. The impoverished creature seems to loathe the part of our party, but perhaps I could get rid of him. Again, this is due to the Mahayana faith having this tenant. That's the reason why this event popped up. I didn't do that. I am a master debater. I have won the debate. Thirty-one. We are now leaving Paula Country. Toshali Kingdom. Orissa, to be exact. That's it? 14 gold out of this deal? For once, take a gamble. Haggle. Oh, ho ho! 23. Wall! I hear how uh, Agabody shot a panic in there after I hear a loud cracking sound like that of wood breaking. Well, makes no Apparently you just, like, normally it would be ditch, but he yelled wall, and, and somehow, how do you drive a wagon, and he's, and, like, you see what's up in it, and he's like, wall, and then, 
Uh, yeah, I heard a loud cracking sound like that of wood breaking or my patience finally snapping. I step out of a grass seat, split to remains of a wagon wheel. My wagon wheel. If you either slammed into that wall or you just scraped against that wall. Unless it's a remnant of a ruined wall that's kind of lowered, but still hit it. Sorry, my liege. It was my turn as a lookout. So I fell asleep with the reins. As I am a strong man, I'll just say, uh, uh, size loudly while heaving a wagon off the ground. I would have let the big man do that. Thirty-one, much better. Keep it up. Forty-eight, even better. Okay, forty-five. Again, I'm not gonna hang all the time. Just take what you can get. All right, we'll visit the capital here, and then we'll be back at sea on our way through. Uh, uh, Kataka, we appear to have stumbled into the local food market. Everywhere, peasants, nobles of every culture and tongue climb around the exotic food stalls. They are thick with fragrances I had never imagined. My nose is drawn to a lowly stall stack with a dish I could only dream of. A part of my haste, but a halting grasp, a giant grasp, of Vikrama Kulaksakara. Do not waste your power on this, uh, my lord. Bowls of uh, pakala are, are for peasants with much finer foods at home. I'm the Agarada and I want my bowl of pakala. You got that? Food was amazing. Okay, this is for learning. Go for this because culture fascination progress. And plus a little faster progress till we get to um, hereditary rule, which will be 17 years, which I'll be around by that time. Fascination progress. And then after hereditary rule, then we got to go for um, heraldry, for high partition. Jumping quite things ahead of you. Traveling lands my acquaintance of the Mandala, the uh, Vajhasta, um, Vajra Hasta, as my entourage on edge, even panicky. At a single unknown noise, we jumped to their arms, uh, and lo, a mysterious silhouette of Mr. White. Good evening, smiles each other, according to Tony with the blade. If only we'd met under more pleasant circumstances. She pouts. Still, I know I Rajasta wishes me to welcome you. Beautiful seductress with very high intrigue. Yoip! Okay. So, again, you're getting stressed for this. 88% chance that um, my guards execute the assassin, which I'll gain assassination averted while making this man my nemesis, even though he, uh, he's from Kalinga Ganga, which I have nothing to do with as far as relations is concerned. And then uh, character will be killed, is killed by me. 11% chance that I'll be wounded, and then she joins that court. Or we could try to catch her, which 99% chance that we'll beat the assassins and send her back with a letter. I discovered agents for five years, which makes me more paranoid about assassinations. And then that one joins the court. 0% chance of wounds being escaped. Or just tell her to get out of here. Again, I'm not making this man my nemesis because we have no quarrel with the old man. So I'll just catch her. Beat the assassin and send her back with the letter. So now we're back at sea. To the Bay of Bengal. 
เดินอุเหตุขันชีพรามEvery bit of percentage adds to it, even though I'm a little old for that. But if I was a young man and had a lot of money to travel and all that, I would be willing to do so. I have seen the world and beheld its many wonders in my travels, but I've never beheld such beauties as the ones I've seen in the uh, Ikrim Medu. Truly, Tamil women are cut above all the rest. One particularly fascinating specimen is taken by a, a, a peasant woman by the name of Kokila Nadigal. <coughs> Let me just show you. Kokila Nadigal. A pretty little rose. She is far too pleasing when I had to spend her days slaving away in Karimadu. A Krishna Navite. Krishna. She's a lustful, bisexual, zealous to Sri Krishna, but she's a little deceitful. So be careful who you. Although, what's the harm in having more children, right? Plus, be careful. Deceitful. You may never know she'll betray you. You know, future. Assassination spot since I have my enemies. Alas, I cannot give my love so freely. Traveling through the uh, sometimes harsh environments has invigorating effects on at least my state of mind and vigor. As I glance over my hidden journey, no, she does not appear to be doing quite as good. Her movement is labored. Her breathing heavy, and spontaneous bursts of coughing rip through her body. Clearly, she's not well. Twenty-one days. After all, since you're my silk road merchant, I would hate to lose you. So we should let her rest and recover fully. We'll spend time here. Even though we're staying in the middle of Tamil country, you're in the Chola realm. Plus, possibility of more Silk Road trade events. While we wait, now we're on a move again. What the duck? Day on the road's been fairly calm and nondescript so far. Somewhere outside of uh, of Tirukulla. Tirukulla. And I close my eyes as my mouth brings it forward, one solid step at a time. As the wind plays the magnificent melody through the treetops, another noise carried by the breeze, and not from our entourage. Is that quacking? I isolate the sound coming from the shrubbery on my right hand side. 
it's starting to get to me. Or just look at it as a good omen. Follow that duck. My, my dismounted locate the duck in a nearby shrubbery. It starts one off in the wilderness. I follow by foot. Sunday that the duck stops and tilts head in my direction. Clearly confused why it has prepared a human follow. I smile at the duck, trying to ease the tension. But the duck suddenly squirms, flaps its wings, and flies away. What a wild duck chase. Cinnabar, who is in charge of our food supplies, and she was revealed that our provisions are now all but useless, having been poorly stored. Patches of molded, pulled to cover the bread and fresh produce. The cooker used up the remaining of, of our remaining dried food. Part grows hungry as dust begins to fall. It's just a bit of mold. Ill. Eek. Time's cover you treat your cold. If I may be so bold, I would like to recommend an alternative medicine. But the choice is yours. No, because if I wanted the earth type of treatments, that goes against my beliefs of how medicine should be handled. So do no more is necessary. Needs to my humors are out of balance, and that's the best way to restore them would be throw bloodletting. After consulting the astronomical charts, he decided that I should be bled from my armpits and temples. The bloodletting turned out just to be what I needed for now. The worst of my sisters alleviated, and the world seemed a little brighter. Mm -hmm. A little brighter. Excellent work, Akabudi. Visited the capital of the Chola Kingdom, which is again where our enemies were at one time. Where our enemies come from. As well as visit the uh, the Grasmara Temple. Since leaving home nearly a year ago, I've seen the highs and lows reveled in the wind blowing through my hair and lament at the rocks in my boots. There are so many places, so many things I've yet to see. Out there on the open road, I feel free from the stuffy Durga, if only for a little while. The roads are full of pilgrims and wanderers. Perhaps it is among them that I will find a peace of mind. Out here, I'm truly free. Picked up the traveler trait. Adds a bit of diplomacy. The Sorcerer of... Oh, Patukotai. Patukotai. Uh, Patukotai is a land of strange and obscure custom to me. The practices of the Krishnite faith are strange and unimaginably different from Theravada. And nowhere is that more apparent than their attitude towards the practice of magic. Right in the middle of town, there is a man chanting incantations and offer blessings as if he were a bhikkhu. The very sight of this degenerate heresy is enough to make me sick and can feel my witch-burning hand begin to tremble of rage. Well, of course he is. Because since he's mentioning chanting incantations, that is in Sanskrit. We don't chant Sanskrit in Theravada. We do that of incantations of Pali. The language of the Buddha himself. That he spoke. That man is possessed and a witch. No wonder. And an herbalist. Clearly not a good person. But bear in mind. I do lose more stress because it's a zealous and just thing to do. And, uh, meanwhile, this other uh, 7% chance that he joins and he becomes uh, a Buddhist. 48% chance that um, he understands. 43% chance to say, no. But, listen, currently ill. I've been through a lot of things. I'll just say this for once. Sorcery! He will repent. Or he will burn. Which makes me wonder, what's the views on witchcraft again? 
It's shown in our faith. Well, what about these Chris Knights? What's their witchcraft? Except... Well, who'd have thunk it? Which again, as a reminder, what is Krishnaism? Krishna is an authentic form of free being, and Vishnu is his avatar when he takes one that of the honor for him. There is divine avatars. He is present in all things. In my view, that is that is heretical. Repent or burn. 54% chance that I will gain piety that, um, and then he will die, but, because, burn the witch, and, uh, 46% chance that we just spend the prestige, meaning, he'll repent, and, and he'll live, I have very little, tiny, tiny stress, I've captured and burned the sorcerer, that's what happened, It's almost like one would think, it's like, are we really making these people mad over here? <laughs> Meanwhile, it's not the first time I catch my Radhaputta, uh, Narendra Sinha, uh, fiddling around with some flowers to be picking along the road. I sometimes swear I even hear him sighing, overlooking our Kataya's holdings. My liege, he says, it's not a secret that my heart has found a new home far from home. Thus, my soul aches for... Oh god, that is her name. My soul aches for Mandala Mudali. Yeah. Mandala. Mandala Mudali. Yeah. Oh, my desires know no end. Her eyes, her air. I long for just a salute. I die for a word. Please, I beg you. Let me just stay with her. She's a married woman. She's, she's married to the. To the Raja of Pandya. I was about to say, what's the difference of the term? Oh, that's one of the other wives. Let's see, I didn't. Has she ever had any children? No. Well, we have enough room in our court to walk up over here. Slope! Not again. Now we're crossing that land bridge that will lead us back to Tambapani. Port event. Hang on. How long will it expire? Whoa, wait a minute. Secret letter lost. I missed that part. Well, unfortunately for you, someone I'm not the only one who knows about this. He's not yet been revealed as a fornicator. Slope, not again! Reckless driver. Ooh, my journey has been a long one, but I finally come home again. While well, much remains the same, something has changed in how the Bekus, Bekus treat me. I've undergone a journey of a holy man, and he insisted uh, it's changed something about me, and I could see myself or not. It's good to be home. How long did we travel? Thank you for holding the holding the fort for me, son. Now, what's going on here? Foremost Radhapuda. It's between my two bodyguards. A healthy rivalry between metal fighters to be expected, but the growing discord between Vikrama and Naranja Sena is soaring in the mood at court. Well, obviously they were in the mood before we even arrived at home. Vikrama is widely regarded to be more skilled. But Narendra Sinha clearly takes issue with the search. 
In the middle of the audience, uh, a lot of verses in my throne are clutching a sword hilt. Vikrama, only one of us can claim to be Diagaratus Muskiratapura. Meet me outside, I will settle the question. Vikrama replies, I ready. I would cut you to pieces where you stand if it were not for the presence of my lord, you nonchalant fiend. Apologize and I may spare your life. Better quickly, I can this to be halted. Well, you know, there's a very good chance that this man, who is a bleeder, is going to get killed <laughs> by him. Of course, letting this happen is unjust. But I'll say, take their swords, give them training blades. So, so now my bodyguards are rivals. As I said, take their swords. I'm not surprised. And now, um, <laughs> self is poor as he's been wounded. Will the court physician treat him? He's been treated. He's all right. It's just now he's, uh... <laughs> what an interesting life you've led. Not to mention you are the veteran of the, uh... of the War of National Liberation, the Vijayabahu's Rebellion, for the liberation of Tambapani. You lived an interesting life. How you doing, friend? It's been a while since we've last met. He's focused on prestige now. Still, still with the stomach aches? Well, he's gonna get over it in a year. So he'll be alright. Stop that. Um, stop these seduced scheme. There's no reason to do that. Because she's past childbearing age. And it, and you would think that, uh, that I would like to get married and have more children, right? Well, I am already married, but have more wives. Um, for two reasons. One, it's to, um, you know, stop at the idea of too few spouses. Huh. And uh, plus, I would make alliances with other countries. They're doing so to ensure our own protection, so we don't feel too isolated from the world. And plus, each of these lands I hold, it would be nice to have more of my dynasty of Theravada Buddhists, so they could patronize whichever monasteries they align to, and uh, and and for anyone to further contribute and hopefully go towards uh, accumulation, which. It's just neck and neck with these two. Although someone has decided to support a different monastery, which is good. Doesn't matter what you choose. Hey, what happened to the old... Or age? No, actually, no, that was the one. Oh. Beaten to death. This happened two years ago. By Mahasena Gunasakara, who's in my court. The heck. Guess something must have been done when they were children. One would think Yara would be arrested for this, but cannot because he hasn't committed any crimes. It's just kids being reckless, that's all. And plus, he's strong. He would make a fine soldier, but still. That's screwed up. <laughs> now. We know our friends over in Pagan. Sixty-four years old. Your health is poor. 48. You think it's necessary to patrol? 
Um, wait, that's the idea. So, um, well, of course I'll accept we'll have alliance with them, but not expect to have any children, not until uh, 12 years later, which I'll still be around by then as long as I don't get to, you know, what's that? No need for grand wedding. That's too expensive these days. So yeah, that's one. And two, in case if we are attacked by the Cholas, in which, well, the old man finally croaked. When did that happen? Today. Right at the moment that I paused the game. He's dead. Now, he's got an unpressed claim against me. Which he could go for at any time, but... Unlike this man. He's craven. So he isn't a strong-willed. You know, and also Andra has split off from Cholo, so land is now divided. Although I would much prefer to see the uh, Tabula can be destroyed as a realm. <laughs> and if there was somebody from the inside I would like to work with, would be the Pandya. We have no quarrel with the Pandya, as it was historically. How about with me? Yes. I got we're just talking alliances. So. Where did you go? What are you doing over here? Get over here. Yes, you made a pilgrimage, but what are you doing over there? Having a vacation? That's tribal territory. Because I'd rather have you have a family. And she's all the way in Gujarat. I would rather leave her alone. Let her live her own life, as she's a hunter or huntress. <laughs> Eek. No, thank you. Kalyana Chalukya. The lands are divided. And the third spell should be just with someone with... Who? I don't know. Some more skills that isn't too old. Which, mind you, people with genetic traits are not common, as per Dark Ages. See, the better question is age. <laughs> Why the heck not? The reason for that is, it's just in case you need a new spine mask since this one isn't as skilled. Welcome. Not to mention you're lustful. 
why it's formed with uh, the bug on Iran. I sent you. Did you abused or um, did you forget? It doesn't say patrol from me. Well, of course. Of course. And you know how much grand wedding costs? <laughs> So we'll also have that alliance with the Pandya, should there ever be a war of a revolt over there, just uh, like that. Do, you, do you have any claims? But again, I'm willing to intervene on your matter. Time has come for me to plan ahead on what angle of my noble life I will concentrate the efforts over the next decade. Investing my fortune in whatever pass level, and it's certain that my choice will carry deep consequences for my personal achievements as a person and as a ruler. Focus on my piety, because that's who I am, zealous. Too few spouses, it's almost like it encouraged me to have one more, but the question is who? I do want to have a little more children. <clears throat> One morning, while strolling along my capital in the company of a Midala, my Fraha Sarikulava mentioned a subject that he said was nagging him for some time. It soon became clear that he is worried about the uh, pressure the various factions of my realm might exert on me to assemble the costly general estates in order to discuss matters of long term policy concerning everyone. In the knowledge, this request will only be voiced if my church supports this venture. It is clear from a political point of view that I will reap additional rewards in terms of prestige and chance of success if I'm the one taking the decision to assemble the estates of the realm instead of reacting to the uh, faction's demands. As I've been warned that my spy master claims that his mind is now at rest. Well, thank you for the worry. How much is that going to cost me if I were to do that right now? Two hundred and fifty. Well, I need to raise a little more funds for it. Look, as good as you have been for me, but um, there are some who are more better skilled. As much as you're very good at diplomacy, and you have helped me well, but as of late. Um, You've been giving me a lot of grief. So if I were to switch at the primary spouse... I mean, that modifier doesn't make it go away. It'll still expire, but... It just feels like, hey, time's changed. Although I could appoint a spy master, but I could still switch around if need be. But again, there's her. Once she's over her illness. Even when I brought her in, that court physician's knowledge uh, would have increased. 
I don't know. Because of a few things. Ah oh, yes, I forget. I forget. You could demand payment. If need be. The Seattle culture has embraced the people of the Silk Road tradition. The reason we did this because this is just our way of um get this out of here. Glad to be well again. Because it's like, yes, the days of the Sogids and Hotanis are waning, but for us we live at the center of the maritime silk road. So it would make a little bit of sense, some sense, to combine maritime mercantilism and people with Silk Road here. Especially that our dynasty legacy will be going more towards maritime trade. One second. Okay, fine. I've noticed that my Maj Boruhit has been nervously pacing the room. Maka, what is the matter, I ask? It is Parakramabahu, my niche. He's been taking a scale like a pillar uh, in the palace courtyard in the morning and, and remaining there all day in quiet contemplation. He refuses food or drink and says relatively little when questioned. Ascetic practices like these are unheard of, but it is bothering some of your court and they're asking me to do something about it. As a Zelzan and a devout Buddhist, I say that Parakramavahu's piety is inspiring. I shall imitate his example. He's become reclusive, but now I begin practicing asceticism, which I've adopted certain ascetic practices in order to live closer to the religious ideals. This will give you a minor health penalty while increasing my piety and the theocratic ruler of St. opinion up. As that, I'm a pious Buddhist. Now remember, 6.4 a month. Especially now that we have the uh, traditions. Vassal tax contribution up. And this gives me 6.6. .6. Not ain't much. Although, to be fair, there's not a lot of, you know, city holdings that I hold. And including one that is yet to be built here, which I would love to build a city of uh, Trincomalee. Not to be confused with this Trincomalee, which one of these days I gotta rename that to Vijay Rajapur while subsequently rename this, uh, oh, customized town, while rename it to its original name of Narva, just to get rid of the confusion. I'll probably do that after recording. Coming out to play. I'm sure Buddha's relationship with his spouse Dharma is a very happy and productive one. But lately he has less and less time to spend with me. A dear friend, as the relationship deepens. Every time I try to get him out for even anything simple as a walk, he is apparently tied down with martial marital duties. I miss the good old days when we would have ourselves a great night watching the local drunkards fall over and embarrass themselves. What times we had, if only that wretched, vile Dharma wasn't keeping us from having that again. Wretched, alright, she's impatient. Now, 34% chance that their relationship's apparently broken. 60% chance that the wedge is driven between them. 4% chance that neither are happy with me. Well, 0% chance that I pushed it too far and we no longer become friends. Although, I would gain stress if these options fail. But also, perhaps I can make them see them there are their ways. Don't you know that she's a bad person for being impatient? A wedge has been driven between them. Good. Even though she's actually at the court over there and not actually with Buddha at the moment. I have four children together. 
past childbearing age, but I guess they just start the same. Today. When are your... Okay, next year his stomach ache problems will be gone. He still has the benefits from the knock matter ceremony. Tamil Sri Kula peasants moved from Nagadipa to Vijayarajapur. Today, a messenger from a nearby realm came to me presenting an honorable invitation to participate in a major tournament that will have it attend a significant part of the nobility of several realms with their respective expensive entourage. And an honor is supposed to be a spectacle for a generation. If I'm willing to finance my courtiers' expenses and pay a small fee for entry, I may well win a prize if my prowess and my luck are up to it. There's a significant Last sense in the mist if that served to entice the raider to accept the challenge. Otherwise, one will possibly heard rumors of his own cowardice or poverty. I could not hide my irritation upon reading, as I was diplomatically cornered. Again, this is not related to the t Grand Tournament event. No, this is Dark Ages related. If I refuse, um, I lose face among my peers of field. Or just be irritated, just lose prestige, which I'm. I can handle that. But I uh, pick up a gun. So my prowess will be tested as well as my luck. It would be good if I'm either gallant or brave, and not so good if I'm crazy. In the end, one can always strike lucky, as that all played a role. Look, my old age is getting to me, but I still got good prowess. So I pick up the gun that. I'm willing to spend that money. Let's do this. <sighs> Wondering if I'm going to get any winnings, or I just lose everything that I've uh, wagered, or whatever that was spent on. I started the competition with a strong performance and beat several opponents one after the other. My fighting wounds came naturally, but I was keenly aware of the weakness that got worse and worse. Unfortunately, my left knee suffered a minor injury and I ended up defeated in the semi-finals. After that point, in a fight for third place, I somewhat recovered and the last showing of my mastery was able to win the combat. Third place it was then. With my knee still not fully recovered, Listening and seeing the huge crowd also rooting for me in my overall performances. I looked at a small hint of envy, but mostly with admiration to the winner. Kiri Dupan Sharab Sotarin of Saga. This foreigner. From all the way over there. This Tibetan man. A good show. Okay, I make some of that money back. Not all, but, but some. Enough. So, you'll be ashamed of third place. Not wounded, just my knee gave out. And again, getting old. Own his skill. Diplomacy is good. I'll leave it at that. Come in. Oh, by the way, have you chosen your monastery to sponsor? Not yet. Thank you very much. Yep, now purification is in the lead again. And then you just did something. Budo, what have you done? Okay, you've contacted with the land communities. Okay. Did you do something that's related to, um, Kanti? There could be anything at this point.
I get to do this again in two years. And I also gotta support the sun god. It's about time. A castle worthy of Iberia. This is because we have the struggle thing. Um, but because you're in a struggle region, so some of that c c content is kind of left over from over there. So a castle worthy of Iberia. But in this case, it's a castle worthy of Tambabani. Your lands are ripe for development, statesman. Oh, Barakari, yeah. With your funding, we could secure Anuradhapura against our enemies and wait at a greatly reduced cost. Parapara Rokabas petitioned for a Muslim style Durga to be built upon it, offered some of his own coin and attempted to sway my opinion. However, my other vast demand of I stick with the local Theravada architects. Regardless who you pick, this will be a golden opportunity to strengthen the realm as a whole. The only issue is who will be chosen for this golden opportunity. Let me see. 300, 260. You start the construction of this land over here. This will be the site almost adjacent to it. In the middle of open plains. Although I would rather build it in a I'll say this, these lands, um, these lands here are not for the castle, leave them be. If I wanted to build another castle, I would build that here, in the jungle, for strategic reasons, for defense. Much like how one day, if I have a lot of money, I would even build a city of uh, Columba. Which is, you know, the site of the modern capital of Sri Lanka today, Colombo. Flower offerings to the Buddha. There are a number of traditional rituals Theravadins in Tambapani engage in. Lately, the one I've been devoting a lot of time to is the offering of flowers to the Buddha. I find it calm and relaxing and encouraging me to be more devoted and act virtuously. I have memorized well the words spoken in the sacred Pali language, which I must recite every time I do this. This mass of flowers endowed with color, fragrance, and quality, I offer at the lotus-like feet of the king of sages. I worship the Buddha with these flowers. By the merit of this, may I attain nirvana. Even as these flowers do fade, so does my body come to destruction. Indeed, by the merit of this, may I attain nirvana. That is a flavor related to Sri Lanka. Oh, look at this. Sponsor person wants. She wants to make a shield. Skills merely decent. You're blind. Oh boy. How much? 50. Okay, go for it. It's based on my mush. Well, based on your mush on prowess, which. You're blind! Oh dear, oh dear. This is gonna be silly. Very, very silly. Eek. Just stretching. And, uh, what did you do? Even though the catalyst, um, but you're not involved in the Sangha. But it's because you picked the patronage. You're from over there. Well, however, yeah. 
Remember, characters can participate in the Sri Lanka Sangha as an enrober or involved. But you're not involved. Nor are you an interloper and not of the right culture. Keep that well in mind. Range of the trouble. To the impeccable Agarada of Jebahu, I propose a the troll between my daughter Mahadevi and your brother, Jayabal. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. I mean, I brought you here, then I kind of forgot about it. You've got it. Another alliance. During my afternoon stroll down the streets of Vijaya Rajapura, my son Mo 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 runs up to me. Father, they just started swinging at one another when... He's interrupted by a high-pitched shriek, turning our attention to the fight down the street. The combatants appear to be a couple of pages from my court. A couple of pages from my court. Circling each other in preparation for another tussle. Hey. You're the man of... Who's gonna be... You're not a man, you're a boy. <laughs> you're going to watch the case. I don't know what makes it useful of learning the Saraceni language, but it'll do for you. This event is from the newest DLC, Wards and Wards. No need for that. Help them mediate. I don't want to see any infighting in my country. Now listen, I feel like I may have to drop the idea of trying to arrest this man because um well let's uh let me see I'm thinking oh by the way we can present so good skilled entertainers if need be oh here we go Time to reinforce relations again. Let's do Middle Eastern again. We're just going to keep doing it the same way because we just want a little bit more on financial help and reducing construction costs when time is right. And you know, the uh, Construction of irrigation tanks does help. And to uh, support the Sangha, that's going to cost you 50. 150 to be exact. So save that. And if I do run out of money, I need an excuse to um, get out. Also, I forgot, there's this other option I do have. Wait, look at Sakacha, for example. It's like, yes, they, we do have contact with them. Okay. It's just I remember seeing the option to go into far-off realms. Oh, gosh. The blind Andalusian. My lord, the work on your precious artifacts proceeding well. I will say... Um, Adeja. Seems to be very good Monty. I'm not making any promise, but if I manage to produce a true masterpiece, what idea would you like to guide my hand? Guide your hand? I guess you can guide your hand, but not with your eyes. For the shield. Hmm. I will say to encourage my Radha Buddha the greatness. Again, to go off to a far off realm, like say the... Uh, Soldier. No, further. The Romans. This is far off Rome. This is in the army. Okay. Okay. At a place where they're not at war. Is incapable. God dang it. Okay, go with the lesser vassal then. See? You can't visit to a far off Rome. 
to travel the distance mod is what I have. So this gives you an excuse to go wherever, anywhere in the world, if you wish to. Now, one of these days, I might even travel to the Northwestern Balkans and places like Dukla and Croatia. Because one of the mods I used, the regional travel events, which if you recall during the last, second to last episode of the um, Haran series, where, uh, where I made a grand, what I would call a grand West European tour. Well, in the regional travel events, they recently added events that relates to the de jure areas of Croatia and Serbia. So maybe one day if if we uh, get a new ruler who is young, capable, high prowess, and with very good traveling companions, I may do that. <laughs> Especially if the realm is secure and at peace. And you pick a very good designated regent for the job. Can't do that till 1085 because I would love to build another large one just to contribute to all the uh, contribute to the uh, you know. Okay, we'll stop the episode in a few months, and then we'll go on the next. But first, anonymous warning: in a meeting of my Radisadakulava uh, Nidala of Matele, told me one of his worries regarding my personal safety. As I've accused rivals or nemesis, there is a risk of these persons might plan an assassination on me, not only through a subterfuge scheme, but also direct the top of my life. As things stand, he advises me it would be wise to get rid of my rivals, this is in order to increase my future security. And knowledge of threat is just theoretical. I was, I was appointed to see, I prepare for dangers at every corner, but my life could possibly on a line. I must decide what I do. Well, thank you for the warning. I have bodyguards. They can protect me. Also, I wait for your shield. Quality's gonna be low, but it's something to put on a wall. Made by a blind woman. Can you believe that? I still have no personal artifacts, unfortunately. Perhaps one day. Praise Virudaka. I have a daughter. Samidata. She you knows strong is not an... You sure? No. It's not inheritable. But we cannot know if uh, it will pick up that physical trait. You, do be you did become strong, but unfortunately you're dull. Eh. But you are like me, but at least you're more honest than I am. Sometimes I wish you were the next one, despite the flaws that you have. My lord, the Vivisary Hadija waves over me to the covered armored stand. She's trying hard to keep up professional demeanor, but I can see the fire in her eyes, or lack thereof. She tells me that the work is done. By the floor, she rips the fabric covering away, and my eyes, which I do have, grow wide. A wooden shield of very fine craftsmanship, constructed from the sturdy subwood planks, bound together with a rim of wrought iron. The edges inlaid with mother of pearl, have been painted with images of zoomorphic motif. Tiny bit of renown. Just a regular small ornament, nothing special, but it's something to put in there. It's very fine craftsmanship. Put it on the wall and we'll end this episode. All the way up here. Oh, look at that. It's got my emblem on it. It's the lion and the 
and the sword symbol of Tambapane and my dynasty. So, we will end the episode on that note. In the next episode, money is to be spent as the wealth focus will continue. And among other things, and possibly protect myself against potential plots, especially that these old rivals did. And where is for Kanpao? Uh, he's went away to Pagan. I don't think he'll be a bother for that old eccentric. So, we'll see you in the next episode. But until then, so long for now.